Hey guys, it's Doug coming to you with yet another video helping transform you from pawn to player in this game we call life. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the synchronicity 333, or as I like to call it, the divine synchronicity. So why do I call it that? Well guys, simply put, this is a hugely divine one. Not to diminish any of the other number sequences, but 333, man, now you're getting into some good stuff here. Let's dive in, shall we? So 333 is a sure sign that the ascended masters, your angels, and all things divine are surrounding you. Now you guys might be asking, what's an ascended master? Well, much like your angels, you have spirit beings helping you out besides them as well. And the ascended masters is very cool because they're actually beings who used to walk the earth and have already mastered the same spiritual path you're currently on. Some of the most profound and uh, well-known of the Ascended Masters were Jesus, Saint Germain, Moses, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Lan Tzu, Yogandan, I, I probably mispronounced that one, to be honest, but you guys know what I mean when I say all of those. And there's lots more than that. Those are just some of the most popular ones based upon previous uh, spiritual teachings that a lot of people are familiar with. So guys, these masters are just that. They're masters of what you're going through right now. And that is spiritual growth, spiritual development, spiritual empowerment. And it's really, really cool, guys. Basically, what they're saying with this 333 is you have a decision to make. You have a truth to speak. You know, and it's time to step up and embody that truth and, you know, really make that decision, the spiritual decision to really tap into your natural abilities, your supernatural powers, the things that are being activated, you know, right before, during, and even after you see 333. This is a never-ending process, really. It just keeps on going and going and going. So essentially, guys... When I say your spiritual gifts, natural abilities, I'm talking about the psychic, the psychic faculties that make you a special being. We're all special in our own way. I mean, we all come from the same universal source, but we're all a unique expression of that universal source. So essentially, guys, we all have our own unique specific mission that we specifically came to this planet to do to you know a truth that we're meant to uncover and share with everybody and all around make the world a better place for all and as you activate this you really have to decide hey i have to use these things for good because these things are spiritual abilities and tools and like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. So we highly, highly encourage you to make the right decision. So do your ascended masters. That's why you're seeing 333 about. So much like your angels, guys, you can go within and ask for help from these ascended masters. Ask for their guidance. Which ones are you... Um, in contact with. It's pretty fascinating, guys. You're definitely going to get answers if you ask because you're seeing 333. It's a sure sign from them that you're ready to move on to this next step. Now, with the decision to speak your truth comes some pretty interesting, interesting consequences, I should say, you know, and I will say but I don't mean to like induce fear or produce any neg. I know a uh, consequence has a negative connotation, but really it can be very positive too. It really depends on how you're using these spiritual tools. And actually, guys, you know, not to jump ahead, but it can off it uh sometimes described as either a six 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 or a nine 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 decision. Essentially, a six 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 decision. While six 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 is actually a positive thing, it's just a reverse of nine. That's why it's used in that sense. The 666 decision is actually a, a quote-unquote incorrect decision. It's sort of a, like, you know, you're making a decision that's out of alignment with yourself, 
Whereas a 999 decision is something that you are fully aligned with who you actually are on a spiritual level. And the way to know, guys, whether or not you actually made a 666 or a 999 decision is to just notice how your body feels, how your heart reacts to whatever you decide. You'll notice discomfort, you know, not necessarily pain, although it can be if you keep continuing to make the wrong decision and you know on the on a you know heart or spiritual level what the right decision is you know essentially guys all decisions that are positive are based upon love who we really are as opposed to these fear-based decisions stuff like our mind our 3d mind our 3d ego you know, tries to get us to react and to make decisions based upon fear, which isn't who we really are. That's really just this illusion. It's the the matrix or the game that we're breaking through is that fear. So we can reconnect with love, which is our true, you know, natural state. So when you make the decision out of love for your fellow man, for your, the planet, all the beings, all the life here, then that's what would be that 999 decision. And your body will let you know pretty pretty immediately whether or not you made the right decision. It's actually pretty easy once it's broken down that way for you. You know, just, you know, go within and do only loving decisions. And it's extra important to make positive and loving decisions as your natural abilities come online. See guys, the 333, you might have immediately thought of the third eye, and that's because that's exactly what's going on here. It's a bit of a third eye activation sequence as well. So it kind of makes sense, right? There's three threes, it's the third eye, and the interesting thing about your third eye, guys, is it truly amplifies your thoughts, your ability to manifest, your ability to alter the reality around you. Now, before you guys, before your third eye activates, it's kind of like your thoughts are like a squirt gun. Now, water is very powerful. If you continue to squirt something long enough, eventually that water is going to seep through even the mightiest stone. However, guys, once your third eye activates, your psychic abilities start to come online, your, your thoughts are more like bazooka fire. You know, you're shooting giant missiles with huge effects, huge rippling consequences for everything around you. So it's very important to stay within love, stay within positivity, as your natural abilities come online because your thoughts, all the things you're thinking about manifesting, things like that come into fruition much quicker. That's why it's a good analogy to use, you know, a weak little squirt gun versus, you know, a very destructive missile. It also be used positively too. It's just an example to uh, show the differential and strength there so you can use it as positivity you know so maybe you think of it as like a you know a missile full of rainbows and love as opposed to a explosive <laughs> damaging stuff you know however you want to parse it but the the idea here guys is you're coming way more way more powerful than you used to be so it's very important to use that power use your natural tools for good, to accomplish the mission you were sent out here to do. None of us came here to really destroy. I mean, you might learn some things, some destroying and breaking, but ultimately you're meant to get past that and become a powerful helper, healer, whatever it is you're psychically inclined to do. That's why you're here, guys. And I mean, you wouldn't really come across a video like this if this didn't pertain to you. Again, as you start seeing these synchronicities, you're going to be guided to come look. Well, what does this mean? Why am I always seeing 333, 111, whatever it may be? You know, you're going to eventually be directed by your guides to look at this stuff. Whenever you have a sort of thought um, that keeps lingering and you just have this impulse, man, I got to go look this up. I got to do X. I got to check on Y. That's a good sign that you're spiritually being guided to make that, you know, leap or decision or, or to look into it. You know, so maybe you've been seeing these synchronicities for, 
you know, months now, and now you've only so decided to start taking it very seriously, looking up these meanings. And it's because your guides know you're becoming more and more powerful and want you to really make sure you're using it for uh, the winning team, so to speak, <laughs> you know. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it for this one. 333, awesome, awesome one. One of my absolute favorite synchronicities, I must say. Very powerful stuff. Congratulations on activating or beginning to activate your psychic abilities. That's awesome. We need more and more people just like you on this planet. You know, it's incredible. We're making great strides for change. And it all starts at the individual level. So you're taking the next step and really helping and healing this planet in the best way you know how, which is, you know, psychically attuning to the spirit realm and, you know, using that ability to better everything around you. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. If you're interested in uh, really trying to stay on the more positive side of things, maybe you have some negativity to get past, I highly, highly encourage you to check out my website and uh, book an ETR session. It's only 20 bucks, about 30 minutes of your time. Maybe more if you have some questions. You know, I'm happy to go over things. Make sure you're settled in there because it is a pretty powerful and impactful time of your life as you get this session so there will be changes for the better and you know change can be scary but it's also very beneficial and especially once you're seeing synchronicities these changes are always going to be for your highest good so you're in good hands spiritually no matter what you decide, however, the ETR is just going to propel you, amplify your progress that much quicker. So anyway, guys, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel grow. And the idea here is we're just trying to reach as many people as possible, uplift the planet that much quicker. So if you know somebody who's also been seeing these number sequences, Please, you know, send them a link to these videos. You know, I'm intending to do every single number here. You know, I'm on the threes. Tomorrow we'll be doing the fours and so on. So it's going to be a great time all around. I highly encourage you to tune back in. Check out some of my latest videos. Get an ETR. Whatever you feel called to in the moment. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Until next time, have fun out there. Take it easy.